Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with the chapter 2, Capacitor and Dielectric. So for this video, we will discuss on 2.3 capacitance with dielectric. Para plate capacitor consists of two para metallic plates. Capacitor of equal area are separated by the distance d and the space between the plates is vacuum or air shown in the figure below. Okay, so here is the para plate. So the distance here is d. Okay, so this is the D, and because this is a uniform parallel plate, therefore, there is a electric field, there is a uniform electric field, okay, because this is a parallel plate. And uh, here is the area of the parallel plate, okay, so here is a parallel plate, and here we have terminal positive and negative. Okay, usually, if the terminal positive from the source or the battery, and uh, it will connect with the anode, okay, it will connect with the anode of the positive plate, okay, and then, um, Terminal negative of the battery or the source, it will connect with the cathode of the capacitor or the negative charge. Okay, so meaning the positive charge, it will go to positive plate, negative charge, it will go to the negative plate. When the capacitor is charged, its plates have charge equal magnitude but opposite side. Okay, and then the potential difference V across the plate is produced. Okay, so if let's say uh, the charge that's stored inside the plate in opposite uh, in opposite sign, okay, in opposite sign, therefore there will be a potential difference between these two plates. Since D, D is the distance, is smaller than the area, so that the electric field strength is uniform between the two plates. Therefore, the capacitance of the air field parallel plate capacitor is, so the equation we can write as C equals to epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is the probability of the free space. Epsilon R A over D. Okay, so if the capacitor inside is air fuel or a vacuum therefore c will equal to epsilon naught a over d because when the capacitor uh, when the space between the plate is vacuum or air meaning that our epsilon r is equal to one okay so this is the equation for the capacitor where it is filled with the vacuum or air Okay. okay, the dielectric is defined as a non-conducting or isolating material placed between the plates of the capacitor. When the dielectric such as rubber, glass, wax paper okay, is inserted between the plates of the capacitor, the capacitance will increase by a factor of epsilon r. Okay, so that's why if let's say you insert a dielectric, your epsilon r definitely will greater than 1. Okay, which is called the dielectric constant, uh, epsilon r, okay, or relative probability of the material. So the capacitance of the capacitor with the dielectric, okay, so again, the equation C will equal to epsilon not epsilon R A over D where epsilon R will be greater than 1. If I say that is a dielectric. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, what is the advantages of inserting the dielectric? Okay, so actually when you insert the dielectric, it will increase the capacitance. Uh, because as so we refer back to the, uh, the equation here, okay, if let's say we insert that electric and epsilon R is greater than what? Uh, meaning that the value here, of course, it will increase uh, if you insert the dielectric. Okay, so when you insert the dielectric, your C, it will increase. Okay, therefore, when inserting the dielectric, it will increase the capacitance and it will increase the maximum operating voltage. Number three, possible mechanical support between the plates, which allow the plates to be close together without touching. Okay, thereby decreasing the D and increasing the C. Okay, so conclusion is when you insert the dielectric, C, of course, it will increase. Okay, it will increase the capacitor, meaning that the storage should become greater. Okay, so it can store more charge inside the capacitor. Okay, okay, next. Okay, next we continue with the dielectric constant epsilon r. Okay, dielectric constant epsilon r is defined as the ratio between the capacitance of the given capacitor with the space between the plates filled with the dielectric. Okay, uh, so the equation here is epsilon r is equal to c over c naught. Okay, c over c naught, where c is the final uh, capacitance where you insert the dielectric okay so when you insert the dielectric your c will increase okay meaning that the capacitance will increase and it's also a dimensionless constant uh, meaning that there's no unit for epsilon r okay okay after that we will straight away uh, as a conclusion our epsilon r is equal to okay this is the equation c over c naught epsilon over epsilon naught and equals to e naught over e Okay, so meaning that when you insert the dielectric, okay, when epsilon r is increased, your capacitor will increase, okay, and the probability will increase, electric field will decrease, okay. If let's say it is uh, when you insert the dielectric and the battery disconnected, 
Okay, at that moment, your V will reduce. And if let's say you still connected with the battery, the value of Q will increase. Okay, so this one we will discuss. Uh, we will discuss later because uh, in detail. Okay, uh, here we have two cases. Uh. Case one is when the capacitor is still connected with the battery. Okay, so what happened is initially there is a, a four electric field. Uh, for example, here we have four electric field. One, two, three, four electric field. Where this electric field it will go from positive to negative. Okay, so initially before insert the dielectric, electric field is four lines. So after insert the electric, okay, if you refer here, uh, the electric field line here already cancel off. This line will already cancel off by the molecule. So this molecule will insert, it will orient negative to positive terminal, positive to negative terminal. So meaning that electric field line here already reduced. Uh, from initially four lines now become only two lines. Okay, so every time when you insert the dielectric, remember electric field line, it will reduce. So what happens is when the electric field line reduce, our equations is equal to V equals to ED, okay? And the distance here is constant. So when electric field strength is reduced, meaning that our V, uh, the potential difference across the capacitor also will reduce. So here is we are referring to V at the capacitor, okay? So when it, it reduces, meaning that uh, V at the power supply here, and if you compare with VC, okay, there is a potential difference uh, because initially already fully charged. So what happens is when, when we insert the dark electric, our VC, it will drop. Okay, so what happened is there is a potential difference. Uh, there is a potential difference across the our uh, V naught and also V C. When there's a potential difference, meaning that uh, the charge inside the battery it will charge back the capacitor. Okay, so positive will go positive, negative it will go back to negative. Okay, so it will give the charge until our charging process will happen until until V and the capacitor equals to V and the power supply here. Okay, until there's no okay until there's no potential difference. So what happened is when charging process Q is increased. Uh, when charging process Q is increased because the charge is flow from the power supply or the battery to the capacitor okay in order to increase the voltage between the capacitor okay so when q increase our equation c equals to q over v okay because initially um it already fully charged okay so we see equals to v naught okay after we insert the dielectric we see will drop okay but it will drop just for a while because when we still connected with the battery, the battery will charging back the capacitor until there's no potential difference between VC or uh, V0. Or meaning that our VC is equal to V0. Okay? Meaning that our V is constant after charging back. Therefore, when Q increase, uh, when charging process, C will increase. Okay, So this is the case where the capacitor is still connected with the battery. Okay, So this is the case where it's still connected with the battery. Okay, So when it's still connected with the battery, Q will increase. Okay. Case 2 is already disconnected with the battery. Disconnected with the battery meaning that our Q will become constant. Okay, just now when you still connect with the battery, V is constant right? because it will charging back. Okay, so let us see, uh, refer back to case 2 where it already disconnected with the battery. So again, initially that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 electric field. So what happened is when you insert the dielectric, okay, when you insert the dielectric, it will cancel off, okay, it will cancel off the electric field line. So, your electric field line only have, a... therefore, the electric field line, it will reduce, okay, electric field line or electric field strength, it will reduce. Okay, so when electric field strength reduce, again, VC equals to ED, D is the separation between the two plates, so it's constant. So, when E reduce, your VC also will reduce, okay. So that's all for this subtopic. Uh, we will continue with discussion for the example. Okay, see you on next video. Bye.